So, you've been wondering about the value of crystals and which crystals are able to attract wealth into your life. Today, I will share some with you and the essence of working with them and using the stones, the crystals, the minerals for your own benefit. Why you're watching Stone Hands? Because it's all about stone. Not all the videos, but the inspiration of awakening your psyche, awakening your... <laughs> there was just a snake <laughs> by my leg. <laughs> okay, introduction. So it's about opening up your psyche and yeah, and letting the snake roam over <laughs> your legs and then on the back of your back of you. Yeah. Okay. But the snake got scared and you are my priority. Yes. So the crystals that are there to accumulate wealth into your life. So first of thing, first of all, you have to master the work with your hands. There was this flopping statistic that the grip strength of average men has fallen around 60% in 30 years. That's crazy. More and more men are sweating their fingers behind the computers. That's awful. So the strength of the grip comes from the real physical work. Yeah? Yes. Women still love to make their breads into the hair, etc. Their hands are quite the same. But another aspect, with your hands, you touch the minerals, you take them and you feel them. And I give you a little intro today, soon. We will go into a real crystal shop where I will demonstrate all the crystals to you that I can find there that are there to attract wealth to you. But first of all, you must know the basic principles. So here we are working with a black granite. It's quite common stone in Finland. It's actually the national heritage stone, the black granite. But here they can find also amethyst, rubins, um, quartz, and, and basic granites and limestone. And, and then there's this one really special stone that we went to search with my family. We did a family trip. So with my wife and children, we went to the Karjala, to the east of Finland, some 500 kilometers with a car. And there's a quarry. And we went to quarry stones from there. A, a guide took us there and told that now you can pick those sto so stones that you wish. It was a really nice experience. We paid only 100 euros and we got a lot of stones. And Spectrolite has got all the colors of a rainbow. A black stone that has got everything shining upon it. That's, that's just beautiful. So we were quarrying some Spectrolite to our car. And children, children love crystals. Like when I'm by the seaside or by the railway, children are just bringing the stones to me and finding crystals in them. So which ones are bringing the prosperity and wealth and abundance? So the stones themselves, they all are there, actually. First principle is to make, make a connection, to start gathering them and building things. The greatest thing that has brought me prosperity is living in a stone house, a house that is built from limestone and the granite blocks. And, and another thing of finding the essential minerals. So when you find there's some brown or orange that there are metals, the metals bring you more prosperity. Like when you, when you are wearing gold necklaces and earrings and etc. or silver, you're attracting that quality into your life. So more and more is coming on your way. So, but many stones, they contain a little pieces of gold or silver. You can find it like really easily. I I'm, just take one stone. This is a stone here. Uh, that's just something I hammered. I hammered into the pieces. And here, as I'm looking in the, in the light, there's some shine over here. So it contains some kind of metal. Yes, I, I don't know yet what metal, but that's already something that is attracting the quality that I desire in my life. So 
when I, and I have a lot of those stones here cut into pieces. So when I build something with those stones that I am there all days long or a few hours a day, I'm, I'm attracting that mineral. The same is when you start wearing silver jewelry, jewelry or golden jewelry, you start attracting that stuff. And then you must understand what is suitable for you. For example, when I began investing into the stocks, my initial idea was that I'm just going to buy some silver. I'm going to start investing into the silver mining companies and into the pure, pure forms of silver and, and those goblets, etc. So I started, I bought some uh, silverware and some mirrors. And then, then I started buying some stocks and bonds associated with silver mining. And it all gave me a new kind of perspective. Then I went to Drift and started buying some other stocks like Aston Martin and some medical companies. And then I started figuring out, okay, what are essentially sustainable stocks that are not prohibiting this life on this planet? And then I realized, oh shit, this mining industry but I love stones, so I'm still figuring it out in, in myself, this conflict between. But one thing is that you just bring to yourself minerals that have those precious metals in them. And it can be all kinds of metals, like cobalt, that copper. We, we made another road trip, like goodbye. <coughs> road trip with my family to a copper mine last year. It's 100 kilometers from our summer house in here in Finland. And there we get some copper ores, like those precious minerals and... And then there's another mine from here that goes 100 meters underground that you can visit. So we went there with children and got some quartz, pure quartz crystals. So you can make a device where you are using, yes, everything that is green, all the green crystals and quartz crystals, and you bring them together with copper wire, and you can make devices or you can make jewelry out of them that will start attracting abundance. But the basic principle is all about getting those minerals that have got those shiny bits and having them a lot in your life. Yes, you can have this small polished stone, but there's a problem. Usually they have been polished with some chemical that is actually prohibiting the real or inhibiting, no, prohibiting the real qualities of a stone because it's a plastic coating that is blocking the rays or the radiation that is coming from a stone. When you go to an old town in some city, there's a lot of buildings made from the stone and, and they are usually radiating. Like you feel like it's special, it's beautiful. That's, that's, that's the essence of creating abundance and wealth with minerals and stones and crystals. You take them by yourself. You let, you lay, let those master, master craftsmen build you a stove or a house out of stone. It will magnetize the wealth coming into your life. All the people living in stone houses, they are abundant people. That's, that's one, one of the principles because those stones are also radiating a little bit. So your psyche opens up to opportunities and you see more this kind of a lucid, lucid life that you're dreaming more like in your open state. So you're able to gather more knowledge about working with the base essential minerals of this earth. Yes, yes, there are some stones that bring you prosperity but you have to have a lot of them like those green minerals so so the i told you the simple steps is to get some shiny minerals that have those shiny bits and have them a lot and build something out of them another thing is wearing those gold and silver that will start attracting also the stones and gathering the stones and then the third thing is yes everything that is green that's attracting prosperity and you can make your altars etc but but there's a thing that those altars must be essentially in the present tense that you when you are creating your manifestation altar you say i have i have 285500 euros on my bank account or whatever you are manifesting so 
manifestation has to be in the present tense and they will help to ignite it because the stones and minerals are essentially computers that you can program no they yeah they are not computers but they work like computers that you can give your messages and your intentions into your stones bring me more money and you must be really really concrete and the most interesting stone that you can work with is the lemurian seed crystal that's a type of a quartz that has got orange color to it and it's like um like a switch yeah like the like yeah switch like chick, chick, chick. and that, that those crystals they have consciousness in them so they are able to communicate back if you have really open mind to to communication and they can tell you what is your real purpose and when you are following your real purpose the abundance and wealth is following you not you are not following the abundance and wealth but it's following you when you unlock your real purpose that's why those lemurian crystals are amazing so to summarize everything basically you need to have crystals or minerals that have those shiny bits in them so metals they begin to attract a lot of abundance and wealth to you and when you're communicating with your crystals it's important to make have a direct message to them bring me wealth i have this amount i have this and this and and they will empower your intentions of course and you put them under your pillow or you make a bed out of stone whoa that's a great thing that's a radiation in its good sense and and all, everything that is green all the green crystals they will help you to accomplish your tasks and you can empower them with your intention with sound frequencies like when i'm play, playing kongs and crystal singing poles i have a lot of crystals there lying around huge ones and small ones but, but my favorite places to play are actually um, stone buildings from granite stone etc because there's a lot of minerals and metals that are amplifying the vibration so i'm able to manifest the things that i desire as i have mentioned in other videos so check them out subscribe and join the waitlist for the voice alchemy for the to be a great storyteller in 90 days so have a good day goodbye